Hey and welcome back everybody to the final episode of Let's Play Front Mission, with your host as always, Madrai Brad. Not very many enemies, but they're all really strong ones. Sakata, that is, uh, Kyochi. Sakata. I like how there's a little mistranslation there on Sakata. Is in one of Driscoll's old machines. And this is what Driscoll's in. This thing can attack you three times a turn. You don't fuck with this thing, but we're gonna have to fuck with that thing. Luckily, it can't move you. But if we get in its range, it'll pull us in and attack us. So the best idea here, stay as a group. Pick everybody off, and then when everyone's dead but Driscoll, you all move in at Driscoll at once, Missilers first. Keep Lloyd out of the range as long as you can. Because if he pulls in Lloyd and kills Lloyd, because he does attack three times a turn, then uh, it is game over if he kills Lloyd, like in any other stage. So, we've got 17 people, which should be more than enough. God, it's so hard to see my own people. Really, like, I get it's atmospheric and it's cool having all this stuff here. It's hard as balls to see. Okay, where are they coming from? There they are. And I believe they do have some really strong Misslers to worry about. How many enemies are there, not counting Driscoll? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Only 9? Okay, we vastly outnumber them. We almost double them. So, let's swarm them. Usual combat tactics, aim for the body. Okay, uh, Sakata, you're going this way. Natalie, you're useless. What does it matter which way you go? Uh, oh, God. Okay, you can wheel around and do some damage. You can, in fact, you can hit a Missler. That's what I want you to do. I believe they're all using the final level of Donkey DXs for their missiles, so single shot, really powerful. This place, uh, the atmosphere of this place, does remind me a little bit of Final Fantasy VI slash three if you played it on an American SNES. Ah, oh, that's such a good game. That was a quick kill. Okay, uh, Hans, you'll go up this way. Oh god, it's a little bit disorienting the way everything is so symmetrical. Uh, you know what, uh... Hang back here a little bit. Yeah, she's got one really old weapon. It's because I- she- she had her weight problem of switching up her gear, so... I just didn't bother, because she's probably my least trained person. I don't think I've ever brought her to a mission. Okay, Ralph. Uh, actually, which one's the attacker? Missler. Okay, yeah, kick the ass of the Missler. The Missler's are the highest threat guy next to the bosses. I was hoping you'd stun him. Okay. We got Yi in here, so we've got some awesome missile incoming. Although, he is untrained, so... It's not nearly as good as he could be, in fact he doesn't know Guide yet, although Yi intends to get Guide in like one level from when you get him. God, this place is huge and so hard to see.
Okay, what are they gonna do? Mm. Come on, aim for someone useless. Oh, you're aiming for fr well, hmm, debatably useless. Who are you aiming for? Eh, okay, yeah, you can aim for him. I brought him along as a bullet sponge anyway. You fighting Cicada? Yep. Come on, Cicada. Don't fail me now. Yeah! Finally, Cicada's actually stepping his game up a bit. Probably because it's the final stage. <laughs> uh, repair small, thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'm wondering, I doubt it'll work, but I wonder if I can flash grenade, um, Driscoll. Oh, Ralph's about to max out his fight skill. See, Driscoll counts as three people. All attackers? Okay. Uh, those are actually kind of pathetic attackers. They've got the gun arms, and the gun arms are kind of garbage. Uh, you know what? Don't go fight him. I'll have someone else fight him. Actually, who's over there to fight? Uh, Gregorio will fight him. Perfect. See if you can get two in a row. Nope. <laughs> nope, you almost got killed by one, though. Wow. Yeah, Natalie's out of practice. She is only, like, level 10. Oops, uh, want you to go here. Yeah, we're pushing back the enemy lines pretty fast. Perfect. Uh, JJ can finish this guy off. Probably. If he uses Switch, he can finish this guy off. Or Speed. Oh, Speed! Yes! Another small repair. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Yang, kick his ass. Well, you know what? Better than expected. I'll give you that one, Yang. I'll give you that one. Well, I'm for that guy, because I think Gregory is going to finish off the Missler anyway. Uh, you know what? I should switch ahead to the Missler, just, or to Gregorio, just to make sure he does. Oh, perfect. Uh, sm <laughs> Fuck. Is this some kind of joke by the developers? Or what? Yes. We can start uh, fighting Sakata soon. Fighting evil brother Sakata. I wonder if Sakata gets special dialogue when fighting evil Sakata. That's what they are now. It's it's Sakata and evil Sakata. They probably have dialogue together. I'd imagine. Maybe a damn waste if they didn't. Oh, nice shot! Wow. Oh wow, you're my lowest level character. Yeah, Ralph, continue to kick ass. Which is not hard, because Ralph has actually been really good so far. I 
think this is the last Wenzer left, is this Missler and then Evil Sakata. I might want to have some of my guys resupply their missiles before we move on on Driscoll. Okay, one- oop, nope. Use the claw. Here we go, one good heavy swipe. Yes! Thank you for the small repair, I appreciate it. So much I can't even explain. Got all the fist fighters in one area, except for uh, Keith. Is that Sakata there? Yeah. Heal up a little. Well, by like a health point, but whatever, still something. Yeah, give him a good hard punch square in the jaw. Ouch. Yeah, that's one of Driscoll's machines for sure. Not the one Driscoll's in right now, though, I'll tell you that. Alright, Sakata, what do you have to say? To Sakata. Okay, Sakata's probably gonna get killed by Sakata here. Figure that one out. Oh, they have nothing to say, really? Hold on, let, let Lloyd do the job for you. Right in front of your face. You don't even get the satisfaction. Now, nope, Lloyd wins. Does he really have no special dialogue upon death? Oh, he's got some. No, they didn't. loss. Now we don't know what Driscoll's range is. So, uh, Natalie, you're the guinea pig. <laughs> As a rule of thumb, we're just gonna have no one go past JJ or Keith until we know the range. Until then, everyone's just gonna start moving in and getting ready to advance. Nadly, I'd apologize for using you as a guinea pig, but I'm not sorry. So, there you go. Okay. Just trying to get everyone into position. As well as I can, at least. Things are getting pretty clogged up here. Oops, uh, no, get a little closer. Can you reach? Nope. Alright, Natalie. Move everyone just a little bit closer. I'm playing this one safe. You can probably move up there. This is a little bit nerve wracking. Still can't reach, okay. Okay. Natalie, can you hit from here? Not quite. Mm. Okay. This will be the final turn of getting into position. I 
think this is about as close as we can get before he gets us with a tractor beam and reels us in. So close. This is not going to be easy. Probably going to have to pay a lot of money in reviving people. Lloyd, you're hanging in the back. Can't afford for you to go down. He couldn't reach. Alright guys, we charge. Actually, you know what? Everyone with a missile first. Yes. Reach him. He's one conjoined health bar, I believe, so... No point in uh, shooting all three of his spots. He's only got one conjoined body bar. God, he's huge! Yeah... Natalie's not going to do much. Yeah, I gotta say I'm on Lloyd's side. Gotta say. Probably not very surprising, but yeah. Lloyd's kind of right. This shit's cray. And it'll be the only time you ever hear me say that. I just thought it was fitting. See, that's the damage I'm looking for. That actually took a decent chunk out of him. Although I'm sure Paul can do more. If he could reach. Hans? Can't reach. Okay, everyone charges then. He's probably gonna tear through a lot of these guys, but at least it's something. Oh god, this is nerve-wracking. Can I take him? I think I can. It's just... He hits hard. Prunga can reach! You know what, Prunga? You're not gonna attack. He's gonna stand there to be attacked to use up one of uh, his turns. Which is, depressingly enough, probably the best strategy. Just keep charging, guys. I want him surrounded. Lloyd, you're hanging back here with Pee-wee. Okay, what's he using? The tractor beam? Tractor beam! Oh! God! Yeah, he's strong. Yeah, that's right. Pick off the weak people first. I don't care about them. She deserved it. Oh. Oh god, is that Gregorio? Uh, oh, it's JJ, okay. Still bad, but I don't want him to kill Gregorio. So, do you see how strong this guy is? Okay, Natalie. 
keep on shooting for whatever it's worth out of you. You can kind of see Driscoll's uh, mech in the middle there, right in the chest. Keith, you're a badass. You can do this. Ouch. Ah, oh, come on, use double a bunch, Keith. You could have really messed him up. Okay, I need Gregorio in there. Got him below half health. Yang. I'll be honest, not very confident in your abilities to survive this round. Yeah, I should've just had Yang sit, sit there to be a target. Okay, Paul, move in and shoot. You can do some damage. That was pretty good. About 120 total. Might be able to finish him this turn. If I uh, just hit him with this and then have Gregorio go in, and if, if Gregorio doesn't beat him, then uh, Bobby can get him, and if Bobby doesn't get him, then Lloyd can finish him with some missiles. Okay, Gregorio, I'm counting on you, buddy. Kinda like my best guy. Well, Lloyd might be a little better. Yes! Yes! And Gregorio once again saves the day. One more final fight with Driscoll, although this one is quite a bit easier. Driscoll's back in his original machine. This is the one from the very first mission in the game. He's tough, he's really tough, but we can beat him. He can't attack three, ti three times a turn now, so there's an advantage for us. Surround him. I want him stunned, actually. I wonder if flash grenades would work on this guy. Yeah, Bobby, missile him. Do you need to back up a little? Yeah. No, he's not even guarding. What if he's not able to guard or something? Seems like he just doesn't. Uh, Perunga, I don't think you're gonna do well, but I'll give it a shot. Ouch. Wow, you stunned him. Wow, you stunned him and broke his legs. That went phenomenally well for you. God damn, there. Okay, Lloyd, you're moving in. Take some pot shots at him. His legs are broken, so he's gonna have, like, no agility. And he's stunned. Alright. Switch ahead to Elder. You're moving. It's time to finish this with Lloyd. Hopefully we'll activate speed. Just duel. 
did it. Overkill, too. End mode seven. Man, they really pulled out all the stops on the ending. Well, the people were lied to, but at least the job got done.
That's Front Mission, guys. I love this game. I was actually a little bit worried that the uh, translation was gonna crap out on the credits. Oh my god. I absolutely love this game, and it's funny that for a game that I love so much, I have never played any of the sequels. And I think Front Mission 1 through 5 exist, although I believe 5 is only in Japan, it was never translated to English. Then again, 1 wasn't translated to English till it came out on DS. Well, either in the fan translation that I'm playing, of course. This is actually a really old fan translation. I've been playing this fan translation since before the DS remake was made. This was, uh, God, I was playing this, I was playing this fan translation before the GameCube existed. <laughs> oh, man. It's weird to think how long I've been playing this game. So, I'd love to see in the comments what you thought of this game. Uh, the next Let's Play I'll be doing, because uh, we don't have the vote going this time, the next Let's Play I'll be doing is a blind Let's Play of Far Cry 3. You can find the link to the playlist of that in the description. Um, assuming, you know, after the first episode's aired at least. I'd love to see what you guys thought about this game, and I do read all the comments, so... I'd love to see what you guys thought about this game, because this really is one of my favorite uh, console RPGs I can think of. I thought this game was really solid. It obviously had some flaws, some of them being limitations of the system, and some of them just being straight up things they could have fixed, but for some reason they didn't. All around, I think it's a really enjoyable experience, and I do highly recommend you guys out there go pick up the DS game, so you can not only play this campaign and the secret missions that it added, but you can play the whole campaign as the other army, which is a really fun campaign that uh, I believe a lot of it takes place during that year of um, before Lloyd joins the mercenary group. So you get to see a lot of things that you normally wouldn't see, and you get to see it from the other army's perspective. And Kevin, I think it's Kevin Greenfield, the guy you play as in that game, I believe he's a character or the main character of one of the other Front Mission games. I want to say Front Mission 3. So you get to see his first adventure. It's really cool. Uh, I definitely am gonna look online and probably pick up the other Front Mission games, and who knows, maybe I'll even end up Let's Playing them, it's just I've never touched them, I know nothing about them, so, you know, I'll pick them up for PS2, I've got my capture card on its way, and uh, maybe I'll end up Let's Playing those games. I guess we'll see. Although, with the fifth one, I would need to find some way to translate, I'm sure there is something on the internet to translate it, even if it's a PS2 game and... The translations for those probably aren't great. I really love that moment at the end, how all the characters got to talk to each other and say their goodbyes. It does kind of suck that Frederick Lancaster wasn't right there with them, but I do think it's a really nice send-off to his character that they actually had him end, had it en have it end on that article. So, even though he was a garbage pilot, and he, uh... He was a garbage pilot who never gained an ability. He's debatably one of the best people in the entire game, because it's because of him that the governments were forced to reveal the truth. Well, the ones that did reveal the truth. Is that it? Uh... Yep. <laughs> I think the whole emulator just... <laughs> Game crashed, couldn't handle the end of the credits. Okay. Uh, that's it. Oh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, I forgot about this.
As much as I love this moment, JJ and Keith, neither of them have long range weapons. <laughs> Cicada would have missed. Natalie sucks. <laughs> so is Frederick Lancaster gonna kill the rest of them? Because that would be amazing. I'm gonna guess Yang. Yep. This is so cheesy, it's amazing. Wonder what the fuck Ralph is gonna have to say. No, Frederick? <laughs> okay. He had a job to go back to as an editor. Man, we had so many people on our team that the music didn't even loop. <laughs> It'd be better if it played the theme song to the game, the Carrying Crows theme, right now. But that was still awesome. Okay, I think that's actually it, because this is the end. So again, love to hear what you guys think. I hope that you guys stick around for the next Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, have a nice day.